Hey everyone, Spidey Librarian here, and today I'm coming at you with an unboxing and review of two Spider-Man compression shirts that I just got in the mail today. For this compression shirt, it is also a Miles Morales. So very similar design. Looks like we've got the same lining right here. A spider looks pretty similar. We got the hexagons underneath the web designs. I mean, it's really hard to differentiate between this and the previous shirt. I had seen some pretty notable stylistic differences between them. Like, they were subtle, but they were there. This just looks like I got the same shirt from a different vendor. And so that is, uh, that is, that is something worth noting. I'm going to go ahead and try this one on as well. And then we will, uh, we will have a look. Um, I have a feeling it's going to feel the same, but we're going to go ahead and uh, give it a shot. Here we go. Okay, let's see. I mean, for all intents and purposes, this feels like it is the same shirt. It feels the same. Certainly looks the same. Again, a little looser than I would have liked. You know, I'm not a fan of these, you know, these creases right here, which we wouldn't get if it were hugging me a, a little bit more. But, I mean, we've got the we got the same basic design here. I was expecting something that was not necessarily this. But it looks like I've got two Miles Morales compression shirts that look the same. It's funny, too, because there was definitely a price difference between the two, and it looks like I got the exact same thing. Let's go and get the other one just to be certain. I would like to compare the two together. All right, so let's see. Here's my... Let's look at the, let's look at the spider first, okay? Looks like, uh, looks like the same spider, same body and everything. Okay, the hexagons are the same. There's nothing like on the underarm um, for either shirt, which one of them should have one of them should have been uh, noticeably different. And I'm I'm not seeing any noticeable difference between these two. And they came from separate vendors. I got them from two different vendors on Amazon. And when I noticed the difference be uh, between one and the other, I was like, well, that's cool. Let's get that. So that does not look to have been the case. It looks like they're selling the same thing and someone is using pictures that do not hold up to what they um to what they deliver. So that's not necessarily a good thing. I was hoping for a little bit more variety in my compression shirts. Instead I ended up getting the same. I can promise you this. I will be going to the vendor who sold uh one of these shirts that had a different picture on it. And I'm going to have to leave like maybe a two or a one star review basically saying, hey, you know, your your photos of this product do not match what your what your customers receive. That's not that's not good. Anyways, I hope that when you go shopping for Spider-Man compression shirts, uh, make sure that you know what you're getting. Um, always check your sizing, get, get get your own measurements if you can. And then, uh, you know, make sure that you, uh, that you hold your vendors to account and be like, hey, this isn't what I ordered. What's wrong? Overall, not a bad shirt. Just not what I was expecting. And ended up being a replica of another shirt that I had gotten from an, a different vendor. So, um, so that is a little disappointing. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you'd like to see more, you can start looking 